Hello friends, I am Harish Gandhi. I am a CACD student. Uh, today we are going to see data warehousing tuning. First of all, uh, what is data warehousing? Uh, here it is. Data warehousing is the process of collecting, storing and managing large volume of structured and unstructured data from the various sources to support business analysis and the decision making and re reporting. The data warehousing is a centralized repository that stores integrated data from multiple sources organized in a format optimized for uh, queuing and analysis. I hope uh, you all know about what is data warehousing. Let's move on to the main topic uh, that is tuning in data warehousing. Uh, it is very simple. It is like optimizing the whole system to enhance the uh, other features. Uh, tuning, tuning typically refers to the process of optimizing the performance of the data warehousing system. This can involve various tasks such as optimizing data queries, indexing tables, partitioning data, adjusting hardware conf configurations, and fine tuning. Uh, that is ETL. Uh, ETL means it's simple. Uh, ETL means uh, we extract and raw files, raw files, then it transform into uh, any type of data. After the uh, transform, then the data are loaded into the data version system. Okay, let's see the one real time example. Uh, that is, uh, in current generation, everyone having mobile phones. In mobile phones, we are using multiple applications and not closing the properly, and it will runs in the background. Uh, in, it runs in the background uh, it will reduce the performance and getting slow uh, day by day then the uh, after uh, slowing the performance the when we give the uh, give the data means it will not store properly that are moved into the queries and it takes more times and uh, more times to store uh, and it take and it takes the more battery to to run the application then these are the several by several solved by some methods like clear catchy background running uh, clearing the background running application uh, in some mobile phones having the inbuilt application like optimizer phone manager system booster and etc in the optimizing process the system optimize the perform uh, performance optimization source management complete uh, comp compatibility testing, user feedback analysis, continuous monitoring. Let's see the performance assessment. Uh, in the performance assessment, in the performance assessment, uh, it first one is query response time. It reduces the time taken for queries to execute and executed under the results of the data. Uh, second one is scan rates. It, uh, it reduces the time taken for scanning process. Then third one is con Concurrency. Uh, it means the maximum number of con concurrent user or queries that the system handles simultaneously. Then source utilization. The percentage of CPU, memory and network used during peak usage periods. Then data load performance. It reduces the time taken to load, load the data which is given by the user. Then memory usage per process. It reduces the memory usage of the data. Then last one is throughput. Uh, throughput means it means the number of queries or transaction processed per unit of time. Okay, let's move on to the performance is issues. Uh, in every system having the advantages means and also having the disadvantage are the issues. Uh, the issues are in three category. One is slow query execution. Uh, it, it slows the query execution time. Uh, identify factors such as poorly written queries, lack of indexes, or inefficient data retrieval methods. Second one is uh, resource consumption. Consumption. Uh, highlight issues like high CPU usage, memory leaks, or disk I/O bottlenecks. Third one is data retrieval inefficiency. We discuss uh, the challenges related to the large data volumes complex joints or unoptimized data axis paths okay let's see the last topic uh, that is tuning queries uh, tuning queries involves optimizing the sql queries to improve performance reduce execution time and uh, enhance overall efficiency there are several types of query tuning strategies 
and addressing the specific uh, specific uh, aspects of query performance uh, it's like uh, optimizing the sql uh, i mean uh, qu queries to enhance the uh, enhance the overall efficiency of the system uh, there are two types of uh, queries one is fixed query and another one is uh, ad hoc queries first uh, we see what is fixed queries fixed queries are predefined means uh, it will uh, it it having some set of rules to uh, follow that is the predefined to retrieve specific data for the based the predefined criteria that the rules are the predefined criteria then uh, fixed queries are static uh, so do not change unless uh, explicitly modified by user or the administrators examples of fixed queries include monthly sales reports uh, inventory summaries and predefined dashboard queries uh, then second one is ad hoc queries ad hoc queries are dynamic queries created by users uh, it can the flight to retrieve specific data or perform ad hoc analysis uh, ad hoc queries are used to address are the taken uh, taking the specific uh, data uh, which is required by the user means uh, it will takes the specific data ad hoc queries are flexible and can be tailored to meet the immediate needs of users without uh, requiring the predefined query templates uh, before we that uh, before we that see the fixed queries it is predefined its set of rules to follow but uh, in ad hoc queries uh, not following or any predefined uh, rules or the rules or criteria uh, it wills uh, it means user user to user wants any any specific tasks or the particular data means uh, it will get the data and uh, show to showing to the user example of ad hoc queries includes uh, searching for specific customer records analyzing data trends for a particular product category or identifying anomalies in data sets thank you uh, i hope you all are watching my full video and learn something from me this is my first video so if any mistakes i did in my english uh, pronouncing pronunciation or in my topic please forgot uh, i will correct in correct it in future any queries or not understanding or any doubts enjoying my video means put it in the comment box and thank you see you soon or on the next video next video